In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get into a PhD without a master's degree. Hi, I'm Vidhi Poddar, Associate Professor from Australia. Let's get started. So, can you do a PhD without masters? The answer to this question is yes, it is possible for you to directly gain entry into PhD at least in most of the Australian universities if you have completed your bachelor's degree with a first class honors. Typically, a bachelor's degree is three years in business discipline or four years in engineering or any other discipline. When you are a high performing student, you get an offer to complete an honors degree. Honors is a one year study where you focus on one research project and write a small thesis. You will work with the research supervisor during your honors degree and complete a full year of research. You will identify research questions build your research plan, develop a model, experiment it, gather and validate your results and report your findings. So you can see honors is in fact like a mini PhD as it gives you a flavor of what to expect in a PhD program. The entire process takes around one year to do it thoroughly. Many students take the advantage of completing an honors if they are considering to enroll into a PhD program later. They can even fast track their PhD program by continuing to work on the same research topic that they had selected for their honors. In honors, you first conduct a systematic literature review to identify one or more research questions. You can also identify additional questions that you can answer for your PhD. You need not include that in your honors thesis, but you know that you have them when you're ready for your PhD. Conducting a systematic literature review is critical in ensuring you prepare yourself for PhD during your honors, which is why I have developed an online course on how to write a systematic literature review paper. And I suggest you have a look at this course and do it during your honors if you're planning to extend that to a PhD. This course is fully online and you can even learn from your mobile phone. There are six modules, 150 lessons, including videos, research activities, and writing tasks that will guide you to systematically complete your systematic literature review paper. By doing a thorough SLR, you are preparing yourself for a PhD. So as soon as you complete your honors, you can directly enroll and get started with your PhD. By doing this, you're already ahead of other PhD students who are just getting started. This is because you have already completed the systematic literature review. So you have identified your research questions. You know how you're going to answer those research questions and you're already on your path for your PhD. This way, you not only bypass completing a master's, but even fast track your PhD. Depending upon where you are studying, you may be able to complete your PhD in two and a half years. I know in my university, the minimum time to submit your PhD for examination is two and a half years after you have begin your enrollment. It all comes down to proper planning and thinking in advance, keeping in mind what your objective is and working towards that. If you are in your undergraduate program right now and you're listening to this video, then think about how you can steer your career or your academic journey. If you have done a three years bachelor's in business, one year honors and two and a half years for your PhD, you can get your PhD in 6.5 years or 7.5 years if you are studying engineering. That is a great achievement. Many of my students have also followed this approach. Personally, I took a slightly different approach. So what I did was I did a three year bachelor's degree. I did a one and a half year master's degree and I completed my PhD in three years. So in total, it took me seven and a half years, but you can do it even quicker than that if you are strategic enough and plan in advance. So to recap, you can start your PhD without doing a master's if you have completed an honors degree and have a first class honors. That is all I have to say in this video. I have done a video series on how to plan your PhD. So do check out those videos as well. The link is in the description below as well as you can see up here in the screen. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Vidhi and I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video.